how to use Sunnybook part three, we're going to talk about contact forms. So we went over projects and contacts, how to enter them manually, but what if you want to make the client do that work? That's what I want to do. What you'll need is a contact form. So you click tools and you can go to contact form, but I actually weirdly prefer to go through templates <laughs> and you'll click on your contact forms. And this is all of them. If you go to the contact form up here, there will be kind of a default one, but you might need multiple for your business. So I like to see them all here. So you have yours, you can copy it, you can create a new one. There's all kinds of things that you can do here. And I wanna show you what this looks like at the end so you can understand what's happening. So a contact form is basically exactly what it sounds like. It can be a contact form. This one is embedded on my website and this is what it looks like. So it looks seamless. You can't even tell that it's from HoneyBook. It looks just like it's from my website. So we're gonna require our email address and our name, phone number, project date, where everything is shipping, some other questions about all of the pieces, budget, etc. And they can tell us here about their project or provide a link like to a Pinterest board or something. And then they can submit that. It looks like it's fully on my website. So this is just my website slash contact and fully embedded in here looks totally native to my website. And then what happens when someone fills out that form is it creates the project and the contact for you in HoneyBook. So you actually don't have to do that. So yes, the first video that I showed you is something that you may not even have to do very much, but if you wanna create a contact form, uh, you can have your clients do a lot of that work for you. So let's go ahead and create a new one. And we have a few things over here. So you can set up your colors and fonts from your design so that they match your branding, et cetera. This button color is something that we set up in our original brand settings. So you can see it carried over here. Um, you can change settings for the form, such as where it goes after they get the form. And then you can also assign a certain project type based on this form. So if this is a form we only use for our coaching projects, we can go ahead and assign that in here. So I'm going to label this our test contact form. If you things are already in here, you're definitely going to need the email address and the name of the person you're working with. And you can check out some examples. I love this about HoneyBook is that they provide a lot of great templates for you. Uh, you can actually use these templates directly or you can see a live preview of them. So this one's really cute. It's got a couple images. Looks really sweet. This one has some great color on it. All of these are very simple logistically, but just adding a little bit of color, image, personality, etc., can make it feel really wonderful. So of course we can use this template, uh, but what if we wanted to just make our own? All of these blocks, you can add a new one just by kind of highlighting one and clicking plus. And then these are the different types of options that you have. You can do full width text, two column, two images, a cover image, text on an image, left aligned, and then you have all these different question options too. So short answer, long text, drop down, date picker, etc. So if we wanted to maybe add two images here, and we might have them at the top because that's what a lot of those sample ones here, we can just click on here. Um, you can have a library of images for your brand that you can use on all sorts of different forms. So let's add this one, crop it to fit on this form and then we can add another one from our library or we could just upload something if we preferred. Save here. So we got a couple pictures of me working on wedding invitations. Now you'll see that email address is a required field as well as full name, but something like phone number is not a required field. If you click the settings of each box, you can change things like the box type or the requirement. And you can type directly within these boxes. So you'll see this one has this linking kind of these rings that says answer is linked to email field. So you don't want to change this to not a question about email address, but you can change it to have a little bit of personality. So how can I get in touch with you? Share your email. You can also edit this grayed out text. So you can use this as an example of showing your personality as well. Like I promise not to flood you with spam or something else. You could even put like on some of the questions where I ask about, you know, how did your fiance and you meet? Sometimes I'll put a little story about how me and my husband met. So it's kind of this, I'm showing you an example of how to fill in this question, but I'm also giving you my personality. So it's a little more interesting than just 
placeholder here. And then on some of these blocks, you can then change the color. So if we wanted to add in my branding color here, we could do this and that will change the background color of that block. And then whenever you're ready with your contact form, you can just click this publish button up here. It'll tell you if there's any errors and your contact form is now active and leads will appear in your pipeline. So that's really the magic. When they fill this out, they all of a sudden appear in your dashboard. So we can copy this to embed the source code. Um, if you use Squarespace, you'll want to just follow the Squarespace in instructions. But if you use anything else, I use show it, um, WordPress, Wix, etc. cetera. Uh, you can just embed this directly into your profile. If you're not sure how to do that, just search, you know, embed code, WordPress, et cetera. And if you prefer to send this directly to someone via link, like if they DM'd you and said, hey, I'm interested in imitations, you can click view options and there will be a direct link to this form here. When they use it, it will take them to a contact form that we filled out. Perfect. Doesn't look quite as nice as the one embedded on my website, but still lovely and I have a direct link there. Now again, you can have as many contact forms as you want or need for different parts of your business. And then when you go into your projects tab, anytime someone fills that out, they will automatically be in the inquiry stage of your pipeline and then you can move them as needed. I love this step because you can already see how HoneyBook is working to save you time and energy by putting this in the client's hands as opposed to them sending an email or filling out a lead form. And then you have to go in and manually add this. They're going to already be in here as a project, as a contact for you to use in all the ways that we're about to show you all the magical things that you can do with those projects and contacts once they're here in HoneyBook. In the next section, I'm going to show you how to set up your contracts here in HoneyBook.